Alright, um, one of the students actually sends these questions to ask me like how to do and at the beginning I I I find it actually is quite easy but but the, the student say yeah he, uh, he already tried for 30 minutes and still cannot do so I decided to make one video to explain about this one because I guess I I roughly know why make uh what make this student like unable to answer this kind of questions because because some part is quite confused. For me, one of the part is very confusing is actually the the range given. Because the range given is not in terms of A. But then the value they ask you to find, you can find that actually in cos A, uh, sine A, cos and tangent A. But then that means this one is not the 2A, but then the range is 2A here. I mean the domain is 2A. So it somehow is actually like quite confused for some student. So I will explain about this. And then I also will teach you some easier way to do that. Actually, at the beginning, I try some very complicated way. I mean, I, from the formula here, I trying to get the sine A, something like that. And I try double angle and all that. So, but, okay, just to make this video short, so I will teach you the faster way and then the easiest way to do this kind of questions. All right, so, so for the first thing, of course, I will just copy down this equation, cos 2A. So I will just copy down this equation, which is the cos 2A equals to negative 7 over 25. Alright, so when I see the cos 2a over here, when I see the cos 2a over here, actually, I know about three formula, and then the three formula, actually, you can easily get it from your, your reference book. The first formula for cos 2a, is, because this is, a, this is a double angle, you just look for the double angle formula for cos, for, for cosine. So the first formula will be uh, cos square a minus sine square a, and then the second formula is, is basically you will have 2 cos square A minus 1. And then the third formula, actually you have 1 minus 2 sine square A. Alright, because you have three formula to choose, so you have to choose if you want to find sine A, which one is easier for you to do. Of course, if I want to find the sine sin A, I will actually choose the formula which have size and number only means I will not choose the first one and I will not choose the second one because the first one has sine and cos at the same time. If you want to get rid of the cos, then you have to divide cos squared at, at the end, you will get tangent. And yeah, of course you can argue that uh, uh, you, you can choose the, the cos square A because you know actually like cos square equals one minus sine square, you can change until the end, you still can get the sine square A, something like that. But then I think choose the third one is a lot faster and easier. Okay, so because this one only have sign and numbers, that means I can, later I can move the number to the other side and then I solve until the end, I can make signs at the subject. Alright, so let's solve for the A here. Okay, so if I choose the third formula, I will just substitute the 1 minus 2 sine square into the cos 2A, so, so I will write 1 minus 2 sine square A equals to negative 7 over over 25. Alright, so then I will move around. I will move the uh, 2 sine square A to this side. And then the minus 7 over 25, I will move to the other side. It becomes plus 7 over 25. Alright, so so this one basically is 25 plus, uh, 1 is 25 over 25. 25 plus 7, I will get 32 over 35. I mean 25. 25. So it goes to 2 sine square A. Of course, I will move the 2 to the other side, I mean divide 2. Divide 2, the 25 will become the 50. So I get 32 over 50 equals to sine square A. And this number, I try to simplify it. Mean I maybe I try to uh, divide it by, divide it by 2. I try to divide it by 2. I actually get 16 over 25. I divide 2 for both, all right? So I get sine square A. Alright, so if sine square A equals to 16 over 25, you know in order to get rid of the square here, you, you have to move the square to the other side, it becomes square root. Yes, some student things like, uh, some student will ask me like how to get rid of the square. So over here, something you have to understand is basically sine square A is totally same with the sine A square. I mean, 
both of this one is the same this is just uh, in trigonometry function this is the way they write for sine uh, for square so if I want to do something like sine power uh, sine a power 9 I mean in trigo I will write sine power 9a is something like that but then you have to get the idea uh, both of them is the same if you feel confused then it's very hard for you to do All right so so from so over here so I will get size a because I move the square to the other side it becomes square root okay but in MF you should know square root you always need to have positive negative especially in trigo positive negative means a lot of things so actually I will guess I will get two answer which is positive negative I square root 16 I get 4 I square root 25 I get 5 okay but when you check the marking scheme the marking scheme have only one of the answer and you might ask why the other answer cannot be accepted so I will explain over here uh, from the range here okay because of what because you have the 2a is between 180 to 275 but then at the end this is a this is not the 2a so what you need to do is you will divide 2 for the for all the range here so basically you will get a so this one is 135 and then this one is 90 that means your angle a should be between one uh, 90 to 135 between 90 to 135 if you learn about quadrant thing this is 0 to 90 this is 90 to 180 you know exactly uh, what you want is in the second quadrant because from 90 to 135 is on the second quadrant and you you should already know because this is you already do mm you should already knows add sugar to coffee that means in the second quadrant itself cost should be po i mean size should be positive so that means at the end i will write my final answer is positive 4 over 5 only i will ignore about negative 4 over 5 because in the second quadrant over here size will always be positive all right so if you get the idea then i will do the same thing for the cost a and then at the same time for tangent a also all right so okay let's go to the okay okay find cost a okay if i want to find the cost a okay let me just draw a line here so i will i will use the second formula because second formula have the cost and number only i will not bother about sign all right so i will have 2 cos square a minus 1 equals to negative 7 over 25 and then I will move the negative 1 to the other side become plus 1 so 1 plus this one is basically 25 minus 7 so you will get 18 over 25 and then it goes to 2 cos square a like just now I will just move the 2 to the other side so you basically will get cos square a equals to 18 over 50 All right so if i want to solve this one i will just move of course i will simplify la. after i simplify you know this is 9 over 25. so i will move my square root to the other square to the other side it will become the square root the whole thing will square root the 9 over 25 with the positive negative so my cos a basically i will get positive negative 3 over 5. and then you will think again because just now i solved the quadrant thing for you already and then you know basically 90 to 135 is located at the second quadrant second quadrant cos sh should be negative so over here your answer will be negative 3 over 5 okay because a lot of students that they, they didn't solve the quadrant thing and and then they they find out actually uh it's it's from 180 to 270 why why the answer is different and then the student actually tell me the textbook it might be wrong or something so i just try to prove to the student okay so the last one is to ask you to this is b the last one c actually asks you to find the tangent a so after you got the sine a and ten and, and cos a you know you can easily get the tangent a because tangent a is sine a over cos a and then you have your sine a uh, sine a uh, above here so your sine a basically is 4 over 5 and then positive 4 over 5 and then your cos a is negative 3 over 5 so I will just write 4 over 5 I substitute it for sine a and cos a will be negative 3 over 5 all right this one you can use the calculator but if you just worry you will got wrong you can do manually so mean this is divide right the line is divide 
negative 3 over 5. So if I do not want to use the calculator, I divide change to multiply, I basically need to flip over, become negative 5 over 3, and then I will simplify. So my final answer should be negative 4 over 3. Done. Okay, this is how I get my sine, cos, and tangent. Right, and then and then it's and then at the same time it's also is also in the range of uh, the 90 and 135 because the range must be correct okay so whenever you see the range in 2a but then the things you want to find over here is actually in 1a so make sure you actually you divide it unless all this is sine 2a cos 2a and tangent 2a then you can straight away use this quadrant because this quadrant actually straight away tell you that 180 to 270 is in the third quadrant so if you assume you actually in the third quadrant, then you will got the sign wrong for the sign cost and tangent because it's totally different thing. All right. I hope this short video can make you understand about this topic. Okay. Thanks for watching.